this down, and I use, I'm using these words carefully. But if you look at the downward spiral into hell that most of these apps are, you've got two types of users engaging in Legion. Uh, I'm sorry, buying Legion. One is the, the clueless user, the teenager or younger, who is using their cell phone or their parent's cell phone, I'm or sorry, going, filling out a survey, like, are you a moron? Which is, I think, one of your offers, where you fill out a four-page a four page survey, and then you, you use your parent's phone or your own phone, and you end up in a $10 a month subscription plan for absolutely nothing in return. Um, and you have users like that that I think are just flat out being duped. And then on the other hand, you have these professional users that have learned to gain the system so much that they get the Netflix, they take the Netflix offer over and over and over again, and you guys facilitate the laundering of those offers so that they take it, cancel, take it, cancel, take it, cancel, and you're ripping off the, the legitimate advertisers on the other end and driving them out of the business. It just seems to me there's no good comes from this whatsoever. And, and I'm getting to the end of it, uh, Facebook's letting it happen. And the only reason I can figure out that they're letting this happen, that they're facilitating this kind of scam, is that they're getting a cut. Because the guys like Zynga are spending north of $50 million a year on advertising on Facebook now. They're getting a huge cut of this revenue because Zynga gets all this revenue from you, then spends it on advertising. It just seems like, why are we not talking about this more? And I'm certainly going to start talking about it all the time. There's my question. Oh, I'd love to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I clearly heard what uh, Michael said, and I can tell you categorically that his insights are shit, double shit, and bullshit. Okay? <laughs> uh, pardon the French. Um, so, I think you had a panel on globalization, right? Okay, great. Um, that, that's why people maybe understand my French. Um, so first of all, to say that, you know, we've conducted 30 billion, we've given away 30 billion uh, virtual points every month. We've been two years, we have 160 million users. To say that the users are basically kids who are stealing their parents' cell phones and um, others that are just duping the system for the advertiser is more nonsense than I've ever heard. Because I look at the customer service we, uh, calls we get, and out of the four million transactions that we do every month, and I'm just talking for myself, not even our competitors, the four to five million transactions we've been doing for two years, I would say less than 0.001%, or I would say you know maybe 100,000 tickets are issued, 100 to 150,000 customer service tickets. That's a small percentage of people saying, I did the offer and I didn't get my points. They're not saying, I can think of five instances in the last two years, over 160 million users where I've had a parent say he stole my cell phone or he, he misused my PayPal account, okay? So that is wrong, and that's why I call it shit. The second one, you know, which gets into the ca category of double shit, is <laughs> how come you are screwing with companies like Netflix? So anybody who says that doesn't really know Netflix. Netflix is a heck of a company. Netflix gets 80,000 new subscribers every month. Um, about, I believe, half of it comes now from the social media channel. They have flagged every channel, every game, and they look at uh, exactly what their retention rate is. And they have told probably everybody in the channel that it's good and they like it and they want more of it. And they've had two years to do it also Blockbuster, also Disney Movie Club. So all these good brand names have, I believe, better systems than any journalist does to judge that the money that they're paying out is actually working for them. So I don't think that we all have to be up in arms to protect Netflix. Netflix is quite capable of protecting themselves. I could have a beef with Netflix myself. I signed up for it a year ago through one of our applications, I might add, and I've rented all of two movies and I've kept them for a year. And I still pay them 20 bucks a month. So they love me. And guess what? I came from the social media channel. So I would not, for these sophisticated direct marketers, let me tell you, if it's not working, it's going to be cut off and we don't have to be up in arms about that. And now let me get to the last one, which is super crap or bullshit or whatever I call it. <laughs> and that is that Facebook is going along with it, okay? I absolutely disagree, and that is not correct. Facebook is not making a lot of money out of Zynga. 
Facebook is not making money off of OfferPal. Facebook is not taking rev share from anybody. Facebook is all about the user experience. Three months ago, Facebook issued advertising guidelines saying you cannot have this type of advertising. Everybody, these kind of dupey offers about mobile and give your phone number, they all had to be cleaned up to standards that were higher than FTC, and they were done. And actually, Facebook took down a couple of applications and threatened a couple of big ones. If you don't clean up your act by noon Friday, we're going to take it down. And it was for the user experience, and those offers were taken off. Now, what happens is that when you are dealing in an um, infrastructure of advertisements that go to landing pages, which are run by networks, there are some shady characters that will swap out landing pages and create, you know, try to get around the system. There's a lot of enforcement and policing required. So Facebook has come back again and said, okay, this is definitely running in the gray area. We're contacting publishers. We're contacting you off a path and all your competitors. We need these type of offers off. They're all about the user experience. So, and absolutely those offers are taken off. And if they do sneak back in, those networks are banned. So it is a process, but it's not a very long one where these offers that have crept in that I agree with, finally I agree with you, with you on one thing, that they were misleading or not uh, labeled correctly are being ripped out of any Facebook application or any network that works on Facebook have been and it continues to be an effort, but I think you see some, some really uh, different sort of offer sets already emerging for the last three months if you actually observed. So that's it. But you're glad you stayed, huh? Yeah. As, as, as an organizer, I think the only way to really settle this discussion is to get some advertisers up for next year and hear right from the horse's mouth about what they exactly. think about the social media mm-hmm. channel. And good, good, bad, and otherwise. Uh, you, you, you might be <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to address each of your points, although I think that you either, uh, and, and, I, and I say this carefully, I think you're either unethical or you don't know your own business very well, because some of the offers uh, that, are on these, that are on these applications are pretty, pretty slimy, and uh, even though they technically comply with the July rules by Facebook, uh, they're pretty bad. And I'll, this, I'll go into much more detail on this in my post, but the issue I have is that there are a lot of very powerful and very successful people that disagree with you. Slide is one of them. They don't engage in this kind of behavior at all. And, and largely to their financial detriment and to the point of how long can Slide and others, probably some of whom are in this room, hold out from going down this slippery slope of doing anything to raise money so that you can plow back into advertising so you can get more users and keep churning them. And you can treat my comments lightly, and that's fine because it's good content. Um, but there are some real issues here around the bad guys winning, and I consider you a bad guy, and the good guys getting competed out of business simply because they won't engage in this kind of behavior. And ultimately, I'll be calling on Facebook and MySpace to be the ones to make the rules to stop this kind of, this kind of business, because you'll never do it. You, I think you honestly believe that what you do is fine. And the sad thing is a lot of developers in this room also think it's fine. That's it. Uh, I don't think that was the question. There, where was the question there? But uh, you know, I think it was basically you know a, a big plan to get up here and say this is wrong and the big you know it's the detriment to slide. Well, by the way, I, I have a great deal of respect for Zynga, Playdom, Playfish, and all of the developers that are using it that are concerned about the user experience and Facebook and MySpace. And I, we are not the bad guys, but everybody's entitled to their opinion, and so that gentleman is entitled to his. But I completely disagree with him for obvious reasons. Well, it's rare that we can end a day on such a lack of you know. Usually, usually it's a stumble across the finish, I'll be honest. So <laughs> I, I'd like to acknowledge Michael for really stirring the pot and a new for holding our own with a, a spirit of response. I have a feeling this will play out in the blogosphere and at future events as well. So I encourage the rest of you to actually follow Michael's lead. If you see something or hear something that you want to challenge, don't be shy. So thank you all for coming to the third annual Virtual Good Summit. Some of you are probably, your throat's a little dry. I encourage you to go to the Opera Pal after party, have a drink, mingle with your coworkers. And thank you again for